guys. Um, so today I'm going to be attempting a hibiscus flower. Um, I'm obsessed with flowers. I have tons of flower tattoos and my inspiration is Kathy LaPierre art. Um, Kathy is in my Facebook group and she is super talented. She kills it with these flowers. I'm going to drop the link to her YouTube channel in the description, but it's basically called Kathy LaPierre art. And she does every flower you could think of hibiscus, pansies, roses. And I mean, she just kills it. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, she takes special requests. You show her what flower you want and she will try to, uh, create it for you. So these are some of my first attempts, um, at roses and, they're cool, but they're not what I was going for. Um, this is super blobby. Um, the white didn't break up. Um, this is my second attempt. It broke up a little more and it looks really cool. It doesn't look like a rose, but it definitely looks like a flower. So that was my second attempt. And this was my third attempt and it was just horrible. I was talking to Kathy, like I can make waves, like killer waves without even thinking about it. But now I'm trying to do a flower and I can't do it. It's crazy how, how it works, but I'm trying to keep practicing until I get one. And so instead of doing the rose, which is kind of easy, I'm gonna jump to something a little harder, which is a hibiscus. Um, I'm obsessed with roses, hibiscus flowers, all kinds of flowers. But anyways, okay, so today I'm gonna use magenta and um, yellow, sunbright yellow from Pinata. I'm going to use some casting craft for my center of my hibiscus. I'm going to use some iridescent glitter, confetti glitter. Um, the links to everything I, I use are going to be in the description box as usual. <coughs> Excuse me. And these molds um, I got on Amazon. It comes in a set of four. Two of them are like this and then the other two have the hole in the center for a geode. They're irregular molds. So I mixed up uh, about six ounces of resin. Um, and I kind of let it sit for like 10 minutes after I mixed it. I want it to be a little thicker. I'm hoping that helps. The blobs are cool, but it's not what I'm going for. Like I want them to spread out more. Okay, so anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate, and this is going to be for the casting craft. I feel like a little bit too much. And I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit, a tiny little squirt. Before I felt like I was using way too much, and that's what's giving me the blob effect. And it's really, um, it's super see-through. I think I need just a tiny bit more because of just, there's a lot of resin in there. Oh no, I got it on my gloves. Just a tiny squirt. I'm using a baby wipe um, to get the resin off. It got on my gloves, it got on the casting craft, and then that'll be super yucky and sticky. Okay, make sure that's stirred well. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit for my confetti glitter. And I want this to be thick. And I'm just gonna take my stick and just drizzle some in there. Because I want this to be super thick. Okay. And then what's left of my resin, I'm gonna separate it
and I'm going to do yellow and magenta. Make sure you stir that good so there's no little strings in there. And I only put a few drops. Okay, so I got my yellow and I got my magenta. Okay, and I'm gonna throw up a picture real quick of the flower. I googled hibiscus flowers and just to get some inspiration. Kind of maybe like this with the magenta and then the yellow on the outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my yellow and pour it along the outside. And then I'm gonna put my magenta in the middle. And then I'm just gonna put a little drop of the iridescent in the center. iridescent fell out so I'm just going to slide it over and then this is just a Ziploc bag in a cup I have the corner pressed down I'm gonna move the camera up a bit so you can see what I'm doing so I have the corner pressed down and I'm going to pour my casting craft in there into the bag Ziploc bag on a cup. Wow, I'm really messy today. Who am I kidding? I'm always messy. Okay. So then you're gonna wanna squeeze the air out, seal the bag. I'm literally following Kathy's tutorial. So you guys can go check it out and give it a try for yourself. And then you're gonna wanna twist just like that. And I'm gonna get some scissors So this is like piping, like you're piping a cake. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad at this. Um, my sister makes cakes and my mom makes cakes and they're really good. They can make little flowers and stuff like this, but I'm not really that good at it. So I'm gonna move the camera back down. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut the edge off. Be careful not to cut the edge and it goes flying into your resin. Just a little tip, ah, and it's coming out fast. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna do little loops and let that one cross. Overlap, you would call it. 
see I am really bad at piping two and that one got more round than square three four five the last one overlaps if I had a glove on I can press this let me get a little finger caught Here we go, a little finger caught. And then I can hold it closed. Okay, and then a line through here. This is already a hot mess, guys, I can see it. It's a line between each flower and then a dot at the end of each line. And I made way too much um, casting crafts. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to get my rose mold. I'm gonna try to do all this with one hand. This is some night blooming jasmine. It's an interference color. Let me get a paintbrush, which is right in front of me. Dip it in, brush my mold, you can see the color popping, interference color, I've explained it in other videos, on a white base, it's going to look like a pearl color with a sheen of the interference color, in this case it is purple. If you put it over a dark color, it's going to pop bright purple, as you can see on this brown mold. I'm just patting it a little, and I'm gonna fill these in. I use these for magnets um, in my orders, so I don't like to fill them up all the way because then the magnet is too thick and it doesn't fit in the bag. Just do some plain white ones. Okay, now I have some magnets. Okay, now, this is the part I always mess up. Now we're gonna heat it up with the torch. Sorry, not the torch, the heat gun. And this is how you're gonna get it to spread and not cause the blobs. I think it's just a different, different varials of everything. You know, like Kathy was saying, like different. everybody has different resins, everybody has different inks, everybody has different heat guns, and you just have to get the right, the right varial to get it right. All right, so I'm gonna put my heat gun on low and first I'm gonna pop the bubbles. I forgot one step, she drags here on each petal. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered that. It's good because it's kind of pushing that center back in where I got it too thick. Okay, so no pop bubbles with a heat gun. And it kind of also heats it up to get it to move around easy. And then she wants, she shows you how to get the white to move around and by facing the heat gun in. Inward. I definitely used a bit too much white. And that is it. I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, we're gonna come back tomorrow and see if I got nice flowy lines or some blobs. And I'm telling you, I used way too much white. 
um, I cut the bag too thick and it came flying out. But now we wait. So I will see you guys tomorrow and thank you for watching. Hey guys, so I'm finally going to demold these flowers. Um, it's been like two days I've been slacking. I can already tell that I didn't get the blobs like last time. Just by looking at it, like I didn't get this blobby effect. I think I didn't. I see how it spread out. So we shall see. Um, this is the little magnets that I did with the interference color. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's white and it has like a pearl shimmer to it. A vi oh, sorry, a purple shimmer to it. It's really pretty. So it shows up with white in the background and with black in the background. And that's um, Night Blooming Jasmine. really pretty magnet okay so this is the one that got really messy um, the white came out way too fast but I think it looks like a flower from the back already ah this one is a mess I think it looks more like a hibiscus from this side I definitely got better results without the blobbiness. This one has some kind of um, streak across it. I just gotta clean it. I don't know what that is. I'm touching it, I guess. So it looks pretty cool. I wish I would have used a little less magenta. Um, it took over a lot. I think this side kind of looks better than the other side. I feel like I definitely got a flower looking coaster and I didn't get the blobs. And the things that I did different was um, I used less casting craft. gonna clean this off with the baby wipe so I used less casting craft craft in my resin so it wasn't so thick I felt like that caused a lot of the blobbiness um, also I let the resin sit for about 10 minutes before I did the flowers maybe next time I will let it sit for even longer like 20 minutes there was that um, I wish I would have used less casting craft in the little um piping bag because it i cut it too big and then it came out too fast and it would have been less messier but um i'm gonna get some still shots of these for you guys and like i said i like the top part better i think that looks more like a flower it's more brighter you can see the yellow um so you guys should really go check out Kathy LaPierre Art. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description. And she's really awesome. She helped me a lot um, to try to make these, answered any questions, you know, troubleshooted with me. She's awesome. She'll answer questions for you. And like I said, she has so many different flowers. And it's they're really nice. So check her out. And thank you guys for watching so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.